guys. You're back tuned in with Jonathan Rogers. Uh, right now, we're in the great city of sin. Well, great city of Lynn, I, wish, I should say. Uh, heading over to lovely uh, Market Basket, as you can see. We're approaching. And uh, I'm going to take you guys in the kitchen today. And we're going to crock pot us some ribs. But of course, first, I have to go get a couple of things from the grocery store. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, we'll be starting shortly. First, we're going to go to Market Basket. Guys, <laughs> we got the barbecue sauce. Everything's been executed. I give myself an eight. <laughs> nah, it was pretty good though. No long line, I got lucky. I went in, got what I needed. You know, bada bing, bada boom, straight up. Here I even have the proof. Nah, but so, yeah guys, I'm heading back to my house to get this crock pot ready. We're actually gonna use the crock pot tonight, actually. We're just gonna put it in the oven. You know, usually quicker, but I tell you what, guys, guys if you don't have a crock pot, Ask somebody about it. Get yourself one. Everybody needs to have a crock pot in their house. Simply amazing. I mean, I don't care what you're cooking, whether it be fish, whether it be beef, chicken, you name it, vegetables. I mean, anything in the crock pot comes out a delight. I mean, I, I can't picture one thing that you could put in a crock pot that wouldn't come out falling off the bone or whatever the case may be. If you're vegetarian, vegan, whatever meal you're cooking, soup, you can't go wrong. So if you don't get a good... Sorry. <laughs> if you don't have a crock pot, best you invest in one. They got different ones from different prices. Uh, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you can get a cheap one or you can get, you know, but they're, they're, they're usually affordable though, nonetheless. Uh, whether you're online or at your local market, not grocery market, but you know, one of those uh, type of settings. So, anyway, like I said, we're heading back to the house. As you can see, I'm in the neighborhood, my new neighborhood, somewhat. It's my first time actually living at this part of Lynn, kind of. I used to live a couple streets up, but it's where we're at now, so. Yeah, um, heading upstairs, and then I'll uh, when I get in the kitchen and get ready to get it started. You guys be the first to see the juicy ribs get put in the crock pot. And now I'm getting barked at by a little menacing dog. That's my cue to go. You guys, uh, finally made it back to the house. It was a quick trip, nice and easy. And I'm in a uh, uh, lovely little kitchen here, as you can see. I'll give you guys a little, not the most fancy, but it's nice. I appreciate it. I'm here with Diamond Boy. Diamond Boy is gaming at the moment. So uh, you see the room in the background. Uh, I'm not gonna do a whole apartment tour yet, guys, but uh, that's for another day, another time. So anyway, let's get back to these uh, delicious ribs. Um, well, right now, first of all, I didn't even talk about the ribs. I didn't even take them out the fridge. Give me one second, guys. Uh, ribs, ribs, ribs. Ah, oh, here comes the beautiful ribs. Alrighty. Well, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put it on a cutting board and then uh, get the sauce ready. Get whatever ready. And we're not doing a full course meal here guys. I'm just doing a little preparation and showing you, you know, some of the things that we cook in this house and how it goes down. Stay tuned. I got the meat ready. It's let, the slab is laying out. I'm about to show you what barbecue sauce and what size meat and what kind of meat we're using to throw in a crock pot to make these sweet ribs. Voila. Like I said, here it is. Look at this slab, guys. It is simply amazing. Here's my my lovely crock pot here, guys. Got to get you one of these. I'm telling you, you get addicted to it. When you first start using these things, man, you get addicted to it. The way the food comes out is just amazing. Um, well, like I said, yeah, so here's a little rib that we're gonna make. Um, very hearty piece. You can see how thick that is. Let's flip it on this side and show you guys. You know, this, this is good stuff here. As far as, look at, look at the, Thickness on this bad boy. Very thick, very nice. Gonna have plenty of sides with it, so there's no need for a huge, super monstrous piece. This is actually a decent sized piece. It's gonna be cut 
different parts, but more than enough meat on there. It's going to be tasty. It's probably most likely going to go down with some cornbread and uh, maybe uh, some, I don't know, some vegetables most likely. I don't know, cornbread, macaroni and cheese and vegetable. We'll see. I haven't fully decided yet, but it seems like that is, that's the route it's going. So, let's give you guys one more last little peek at this juicy little slab of meat. And so, anyway, let me show you how this is going to go down anyway. So, yeah, this is, it's pretty one, two, three, guys. You can do this with any meat. I've done it with whole chickens. I've done it with, uh, you know, various various foods. Um, can't wait to do a fish. But um, doing this second time, I've done ribs in the crock pot as far as this crock pot. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going right in here. You're going to lay it right there. Not, nothing fancy. Nothing, right in the crock pot. Part of well, sorry, crock pot's already been on low, so we don't have to adjust it. It's going to be on low for the, probably most likely its entire time to give it that nice slow cook and give the time, meat to tender up and really just, you know, it's just an excellent thing. This is the top that'll be going on top, guys. Looks like this. And then, of course, you know, before I do that, I'll be putting the sauce on there. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that sauce, which is righty hairy. We'll be putting sweet. Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce with our rib. And it's a lovely combination. Very basic, very easy. Like I said, crock pots make it very easy for you. If you got something to do, you gotta run off and do an errand or something. Crock pot, you can leave it on. It, chances of it burning are next to none unless you left it on for like a, a abnormal amount of time. But you can run it four or six hours you want easily. Your food will still be good. Uh, so it all depends on what you're cooking, but um, you have options high, low, warm, so it all depends on what you're cooking and how long you want to cook it. But so it's, a, it's good for a bunch of things. So, on that note, let's get to opening up this sauce. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, the key to success with ribs, the almighty sauce. And what better than honey barbecue? Because I had a lot of other options for sauce, but I figured honey barbecue is more classic. And what better with a rack of ribs like that? Some nice honey barbecue sauce. Finger licking, finger licking, finger licking. You know the rest. So, guys, let's see how this goes on top of our ribs in the crock pot. And, I, and like I said, you usually you just dump it in as so. Boom. Put your top on, whatever temperature, high or low, you want it on warm, whatever the case may be, and just let it go. It's that simple, guy. Let's see how lovely this sauce goes over these ribs. 